Today, I want to share with you some ideas that I just came across, so I think it's important to share this tip. We're always struggling with kids who have a hard time focusing and paying attention, and although you know, activity, even diagnoses such as ADHD are really a superpower now in today's world, there are some times when you really have to be able to focus and pay attention to some detail in order to get things done without being distracted. So I came across this tip I wanted to share. You know how in magazines, sometimes um, you'll see these pictures where they say spot the difference. And I love doing them. I don't know why. They're just kind of really calming to me. So I get to the magazine part and I look at the back and I go, yeah, I can find all six changes in the second picture that wasn't in the first picture. And they're really subtle. Well, if you just Google search this, which I just did, I Google searched something called spot the difference and found all of these examples of pictures that you could use in your classroom. So you could have like a pile of them somewhere just for, you know, you got some extra time on your hands or be even more specific about intervention and have your kids who are really struggling use that as a warm-up exercise or even an assignment, if you will. What the, um, the tip is here is that if you can exercise the part of the brain that can discriminate and find things that may be hidden, like spot the difference, that it actually helps the brain to be able to transfer that into other exercises or other assignments that they're doing. So give it a try. I love doing them. I find them actually kind of relaxing and fun, but I never knew that there really are good intervention. 